Season 2 for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone seems to be going pretty well for the most part, but as with every single update, there's bound to be some hidden and secret changes made to the game that weren't conveyed in the patch notes, right? I think that's gotta be the case. Well, of course there were. Today, we're diving into these and letting you know what you may have missed out on with this update, so drop your thoughts down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video or find an add-on insightful, and consider subscribing for more Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, and Season 2 coverage, along with other FPS content. Finally, make sure to check out the link down below to join us over on Twitch, where we'll be streaming a lot more. But for now, let's jump into it. First, let's talk about a bigger one here for this. We know Season 2 is embracing that Zombies collaboration. The Walking Dead, Zombies-themed skins, Zombies thematic reskins of maps upcoming, even things like Operation Operation Tin Man, that new war map, is the entire premise is infiltrating a lab that's doing experiments with, perhaps even crafting up zombies. But to go a step further, we actually have a new secret bunker that was opened up in Urzikstan for Warzone, one that was previously locked off. If you go to the edge of Old Town overlooking Urzikstan Cargo in Grid Sector E5, there's that area that's the dock that's carved into the hillside, the sort of underbelly of that hillside. Previously, there was a locked vault there, but now if you go over to it, that's actually opened up. You'll initially be met with this sort of long tunnel hallway that goes downstairs and then into what is a lab with a bunch of stasis chambers. It opens up a bit on the left and right where there's a bit wider of a room there at that point. It's not just the width of that hallway. And then there's two side rooms that connect to it that you can see walking down that hallway as a whole. There's also a bit of a ventilation tunnel or sort of hatch that you can end up going from the upper portion of that staircase down into it or vice versa. And alongside all of that, you have a couple of chests with some high level loot it's a decent landing spot perhaps if it is uncontested but it might be a little bit contested here at the beginning there's also another vault at the back end of this bunker here which may lead to something in the future but right now it's still a little unclear there's a couple of cool things in regards to like easter eggs and the air quote lure of it all it's not really that in depth but it is something that is still pretty cool to see and it offers up a nice little way to get some bonus loot if that is something that suits your fancy you need a quick regain you might be able to grab some stuff down here but the ironic part about all of this, of course, is that we have a sort of bunker and a little bit of a lab here underneath Urzikstan creating zombies, but this lab's actually not open in zombies. If you go to zombies and try this out, go to the exact same spot, that vault and that bunker will be closed off from the outside. So granted, it would be in tier three and it would be a one-way entry that was a sort of dead end and it would be insanely dangerous to go into, but still it's just further almost comical examples of zombie stuff everywhere in season two except for actually in zombies. Another stealth change that was introduced here was one that was overall, this being a new addition to the slide and dive behavior options in how your controls are bound. Previously, the slide and dive behavior options, because you had both, you had the ability to tap to slide, tap to dive, slide only, and dive only. Tap to slide would prioritize slide, and if you held it in, it would dive, and vice versa with tap to dive. Slide only was only sliding, and dive only was only diving. This was a big thing that was introduced because whenever you had those slight millisecond delays where the game had to register whether you were holding or just clicking the button and input. That was something that that's why initially your sort of slide cancel back in the beta felt a little bit delayed because it had to account for that extra couple of milliseconds for the game to register on, okay, are they holding it in or are they just tapping it or is it somewhere in the middle? That was adjusted with this setting, but now with season two, we have a new option called hybrid where it's tap only to slide, but tap while holding your sprint input to dive. Now this took that bug last season after season one reloaded, where players like myself seem to randomly just have the dive mechanic happen despite being on slide only, something that shouldn't have any sort of dive bound to it, which caused this age old question of, is it a bug or is it a feature? Well, they kind of made a bug a feature with this update. Realistically, it was probably just one of those quality of life things that has been planned for quite some time, that it bled through a little bit too early. Kind of like the precision airstrike and the UAV updates in Warzone after season one reloaded. Raven came out a little bit after that and said, hey, no, this was planned for the future. It just went live a little early and that's why it broke stuff. Probably the same thing that happened here with this, but I like to think of it in a more comical and whimsical manner, taking something that was a bug and then making it a feature that it worked out for the better. But you now have that option in your input and control. Check it out if you're at all interested. Now, truth be told, that's actually like the bulk of like the interesting stealth changes. You had some smaller stuff like the FOV on vehicles is now punched out entirely. Whereas that was just a bug where it would happen randomly beforehand. That seems to happen in both multiplayer and zombies, as well as Warzone. Then you had things like in Warzone, the UI, that upper right hand text showing you the amount of kills, teams left, any sort of streak you're on for squad wipes. That UI text has changed that font. The Mortar Strike really seems to have gotten a stealth buff here at this. 
I could not tell you the last time I died to a mortar strike before this update. Like, I'm talking all the way back to, like, Warzone 1. Maybe half a dozen times ever. Because it was usually something that the mortar strike would just break your armor. You could end up taking one hit and then getting out of the area, that vicinity of where it was landing. Now, I've been one hit downed twice by the mortar strike in the first day after the update. That first 24 hours, yeah, I got got by that thing twice. Again, probably as many times as I had the last two years combined with a mortar strike. So I do definitely think that that was a stealth buff, but again, nothing to definitively say on that one. That one's just my feels. However, that's where we can kind of transfer over and talk about to some inadvertent bugs here that were stealth changes, because there's actually a few that are kind of cool, some that are kind of useful to know about, and things that, of course, if you've seen them and you're like, that's, that's wrong, they are going to be fixed. So inadvertent stealth changes that are maybe negative or, again, positive, depending on who you ask. Firstly, stuns actually make you faster now than this. Whereas previously, they would stop you in place. You couldn't move any of your camera angles. But right now, you can actually run full speed while stunned. It just limits that horizontal camera movement. So you can't look side to side, but you can still run in a straight line and look up and down with no problem at all. So I'm assuming that's going to be fixed here in the near future, but something you should know about at the moment. The BP-50, the new weapon, the original state of that weapon is actually visible in the mastery items. It was previously going to be named the FTAC BP-2. 2k so slight name change there we see that happen from time to time but those mastery items of the calling card and then the weapon charm haven't really caught up to that just yet the third camo on the ram 9 is not tracking so if you are somebody that likes to go for interstellar that unfortunately is not the case i ended up getting it borealis so it seems like all the camos are tracking properly in zombies but not quite in multiplayer just yet the Hans Zimmer Modern Warfare 2 original Modern Warfare 2 2009 music pack, that's only playing on the menus now, so you're not getting any of the added benefits actually in-game, so if you paid for that, just know that you aren't crazy, it is bugged at the moment. The Assassin Vest also doesn't have a lethal slot at the moment, whereas previously it did, they've removed that with Season 2. That is a bug that's already been confirmed and already been acknowledged, there is a fix upcoming for that, so just know that wasn't intended, they're not trying to nerf that Assassin Vest. And then finally, PHD did not, it now does, protect against very various damage sources in zombies. So if you had that active and you were like, why am I taking fire damage? That happened to me, it felt a little crazy, but that is something that was a bug and has now since been fixed out. But anyways, those are your notable stealth changes for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone with Season 2. Again, not a whole ton this season, but honestly, not also a lot in terms of broken stuff, which is, I guess, a good trade-off. So just wanted to fill you guys in here for some stuff you may have missed and some stuff you might want to check out. But that's where we're going to wrap it up. So let me know your thoughts down below. Like these changes, like the season so far, whatever the case, feel free to let me know. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it out on Sightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. As well, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. Ring all things Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, Season 2 continued coverage, and other stuff like X Defiant and other FPS games. Love to have you in the community. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.